good morning dear students today i am here with a new chapter of class 9th history pastoralism in the modern world so pastoralism has been important in societies like india and africa for years pastoralism is a way of keeping animals such as cattle sheep that involves moving from one place to another to find water and food nomads are people who do not live in one place but move from one area to another to earn their living and they move along with their cattle now nomadism as a way of life so movement of pastoral nomads in mountains many pastoral communities are found in mountainous regions like gujjar bakharwals gujjar bakharwals of jammu and kashmir are great herders of goat and sheep many of them migrated here in the 9th century in search of pasture for their cattle and settled here in winters when the mountains were covered with snow they lived with their herds in the low hills of shivalik range here the dry scrub forest provided pastures for their herds they crossed the peer panjal passes and entered kashmir valley in summer when the snow melted in the mountains and mountain sides were left lush green they moved on to high levels the variety of spotted grass provided rich nutritious forage for their animals by the end of september they used to start moving again for their downward journey back to their winter base several household came together for this journey forming a kafila now the another pastoralists are mandap of ringal the gujjar cattle herders live in the mandapas made of ringal a hill bamboo and a grass from the bugyals a mandap was also a workplace here the gujjar used to make he which they look uh, which they took down for sale in recent years they have begin to transport the milk directly in buses and trucks these these mandaps are at about 10000 to 11000 feet as buffalo cannot climb any higher now gaddis shepherds gaddi shepherd is a pastoral community in himachal pradesh they had a similar cycle of seasonal movement like gujjar bakharwals of jammu and kashmir during winters gaddi shepherd graze their flocks in scrub forests of the low hills of shivalik range and by april they move northern and spend the summer in lahol and spiti further to the east in garhwal and kamau the gujjar cattle herders came down to the dry forest of the bhabar in the winter and went up in the high meadows the bugyals in the summer many of the gujjar cattle herders were originally from the jammu and kashmir and came to the uphills in the 9th century in the search of good pasture now the bhotia shepherds and uh bhotia sherpas and kinoris many pastoralists of the himalayas himalayas like the bhotias sherpas and kinoris also follow cycle movement between summer and winter in search of pastures they all had to adjust to seasonal changes and make proper use of available pastures when the pasture was exhausted or unusable in one place they moved their herds and flocks to new areas this continuous movement of the pastures allow the pasture to recover now on the plateaus plain and desert in this the pastures communities are also found in, in the plateaus plains and desert of india in which first of all we talk about the dhangars dhangars were an important pastoral community of maharashtra in the year 20th in the in the early 20th century their population was more than 4 lakh they were mainly shepherds 
blanket weavers and buffalo herders. Dangas stayed in the central plateau of Maharashtra during the monsoon. In the monsoon, this track became a vast grazing ground for their flocks. By October, the Dhangas harvested the Vajra and they started to move toward the west. After a month reaches Konkan, which had high rainfall and rich soil, they were welcomed by the Konkani peasants. When the onset of monsoon, they returned to their settlements on the dry plateau as sheep could not tolerate the wet monsoon conditions. Now the Golas, the Kurumas and Kurubas from Karnataka and Andhras. They are also the important pastoral communities of the dry central plateaus. The Golas herded cattle, the Kurumas and Kurubas reared sheep and goat and sold woven blankets. They lived near the forest, cultivated small patch of lands, engaged in a variety of small trades and took care of their herds. The movement of their pastoral depend on monsoon and dry season. Now the Panjara tribes, they were an important group of grazers which were found in the villages of Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra in search of good pasture land for their cattle. They moved over long distances. They sold their plow cattle and other goods to villages in exchange of grain and fodder. Now the Raikas of Rajasthan. The Raikas of Rajasthan combine cultivation with pastoralism. During the monsoon, the Raikas of Burma uh, Barmer, Jaisalmer, Jodhpur and Bikaner stayed in their villages where pasture was available. By October, they moved out in search of other pastures and water and returned again during the next monsoon. Pastoral groups' life was su sustained by a, host of, uh, by a host of factors. They had to judge how long the herds could stay in one area and where they could find water and pasture. They needed to calculate the timing of their movements and ensure that they could move through different territories. They had to set up a relationship with farmers on the way so that the herds could graze in harvested field and manure the soil. Now the changes in pasture, uh, pastoral life due to the colonial rule. The pastoral life changes completely under colonial rule. The movement their movement was regulated, grazing ground shrank and the revenue they had to pay increased. Even their agriculture stock declined and their trade and craft was adversely affected. It happened due to the following reason. The land revenue was one of the main source for finance of the colonial state. So the colonial government wanted to transfer all grazing land into cultivated farm through which they could expand cultivation and increase its revenue collection. So the all uncultivated land was seen as wasteland. From the mid 19th century, waste land rules were enacted in various parts of the country under these rules, uncultivated land were taken over and given to selected individuals. 
the other was uh, the other reason was the forest act in which according to these acts forests uh, which produce commercially valuable timbers like devdar or sal were declared reserve and other forests was classified as protected these 